Hello my friends, I'm Rich Larson and I'm the IRC Tire Guy. Today we are here at round four of the AMA Enduro Cross Series. And as you guys know, we've been following the Enduro Cross Series with all these recap videos, trying to keep you guys up to date. One question that we get on every single video is why four strokes? Why are the top riders using four strokes rather than two strokes? Well, we have here Ty Collins, an IRC rider. He's JXA Dakota on the rear, rides for TM Racing. And of course, he is on a 300 four stroke. Now, Ty has a lot of experience on both bikes and I thought what better way to learn the differences between the two bikes other than just from the guy. He's a killer rider and I think he's gonna put in some really good insight so you guys can understand why he's choosing a four stroke over a two stroke. So, Ty, very simply, what is the difference between a two stroke and a four stroke on an enduro cross track and why do you choose Again, you've rode a 300 two-stroke in the past. Why do you choose the 300 four-stroke this year? Yeah, the four-stroke is just a lot, a lot easier to ride. It, it uh, tracks a lot better through the flat corners and everything. A lot easier to hook up. Two-stroke is definitely a lot of fun to ride, but it doesn't hook up as well. You got to be more, more in the power band, which just makes it a little more difficult. When you're riding specifically, let's say off jumps, of course, enduro cross has been a little bit more jumpy lately. Uh, off jumps, do you feel like they're a little more stable, the four strokes over the two strokes? The power coming in, is that kind of the difference? Yeah, that's kind of one of the reasons I went to a four stroke this year, which is because the tracks have been a little more jumpy, a little faster, so it's definitely more suited to the, the four stroke power, and they're definitely more comfortable jumping, easier to jump. Right, so, so let's say, Ty, you're on the 300 four stroke, it's a killer bike, you like in the TM, it feels good? Yeah, definitely. I've been on them for a few years now, they're pretty good, so. Bikes. I love it. I love it. Well, keep an eye on Ty. He's ripping out there. He's on an IRC tire. We're stoked to have him on the team. And uh, yeah, let's check out the next guy. We got Spencer Wilton coming up next. All right, guys, I am here with Spencer Wilton. Now, Spencer is an IRC tire rider. He's running the JX8, of course. It's his favorite. JX8 for life, right? Oh, uh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, lifelong. In Enduro Cross, Spencer rides the MC250, the Gas Gas MC250. But Spencer's also a hard Enduro rider. He's got some solid hard Enduro results. And on that, he rides the 300 two stroke. So I want him to kind of break it down for us and show us what do you think the difference? Wh why is it two stroke in the hard Enduro, two four stroke in uh, Enduro Cross? Uh, break it down for us, dude. So, yeah, basically, um, the four stroke for Enduro Cross, it's got that power and that hit right there and a lot of the jumps out of the corners. Uh, sometimes they're, they got some water on them and the dirt's slippery, so you don't wanna have that extra wheel spin that the two-stroke allows. You wanna have that good, solid, like just Man. lots of bottom end power coming off the lips of the jumps. And <clears throat> another thing too is in the rock section, the two-stroke is honestly a little bit better in the rocks, but the four-stroke everywhere else is better for the rest of the course. So, I mean, That's if I had a thing. choice, if I if I could pick one bike, I'd swap two stroke for the rocks and then hop on the four stroke for the rest I of love the track. It. So that's the thing is, I love it. You made the sound. Everybody knows like moto sound. There's always when we when we talk as motorcycle riders, we're always making noises, and that's like the best way to explain the four stroke is it's got that grunt and the traction up the face up jumps out of the corner that just like Spencer said that 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 grunt is what you're looking for and that's where the four stroke comes into play especially on these enduro cross tracks as they get more uh, jumpy and less technical so Spencer when you're doing hard enduro is there ever a thought of maybe taking a four stroke and using it there yeah I mean if you're if you're if you can consistently stay moving on a hard enduro course you could ride a four stroke but if you can't which none of us can, will all overheat our bikes. There the four stroke go. will overheat almost instantly in a hard enduro loop. I've rode a hard enduro loop on my two stroke and my four stroke, and every time on the first hill, I'll overheat. There you go. So that's the biggest thing. We're looking at heat with hard enduro, and we're looking at that grunt with enduro cross. You know, every bike has an advantage here and there, but you know, it's, it's all tailored for what you're riding. Spencer, you're the man. Good luck today, dude. You ripped it up. In the qualifying, we're qualified in and we're ready to go. Yes, sir. Get a mandate. All right, guys, I am here with Tim Apola. Now, this guy is the only rider in the top 10 on a two stroke. In fact, he's the only guy in a pro class on the two stroke. He's got the Beta 300. 
the bike that I'm, I'm actually currently riding. It's a killer bike. I know it's capable and Tim obviously makes it capable. The dude is out there ripping every single whip it weekend, pulling those top tens. I, I'm, I love seeing a two stroke out there. So this is what I want to know. Why is it that you ride the two stroke? And you know, talk about the power characteristics. Why do you like it? And again, man, you got a lot of fans because you're the only two stroke guy out there. So break it down for us. Yeah, so the bike is really light, so it's uh, kind of light, not much weight, so it's uh, quite easy to handle. Yeah. And obviously, I rode this bike the last kind of three years because I rode like normal and newer stuff and ISD, I was in the national team. Right. So they need like an E3 guy. E3 class. So, um, yeah, so I was on this bike like, all the time, so I came here and I was like, I don't want to go on a force show just for a new cross. So I was, I was used to this bike. Yeah. So, um, the bike is. I can ask right. Them. I really like it. So for you, you're 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 riding hard enduro, you're riding enduro cross, and you're riding the E3 class all on the two stroke. It makes sense to come to enduro cross yeah, and yeah. rip the two stroke. So when you're out there on the track, are you using a lot of clutch off the face of the jumps? Are you trying to get a lot of pop and snap off of the bike to put that traction to the ground? So yeah, the bike is different, obviously. So it's it's a different different power. So you have to ride the bike different. So right. I use more the clutch to have like more the bottom power. Right. So it's kind of hard sometimes riding in the flat corners. Yeah. It's, maybe it's easier on the four stroke, maybe. But sure. if you can ride a two stroke, you can do you can do the same stuff. Boom. So, so that's why you need to follow Tim. He's a beast. So it's Tim Apollo ninety six, right? 96 on Instagram. Check this dude out. He's a beast. Only two-stroke guy out here. We love him. He's the man. Coming from Germany, freaking here, ripping every weekend. I, I mean, this this is what girls the sport. This is what we love. So, dude, you're the man. I love it. Killer, killer, killer. Thank you guys so much.